In this video we're going to discuss MPLS or multi-protocol label switching. The term multi-protocol means that MPLS supports multiple higher layer protocols such as IP version 4 or IP version 6 and even other protocols such as layer 2 so you can encapsulate a layer 2 over an MPLS network. Label switching means that MPLS uses labels. So we have multi-protocol label switching where multiple protocols are switched from one interface to another on a router using labels. Now MPLS, like a lot of technologies, uses its own definitions and terms. In this topology, we have a core MPLS network and two customers, the blue customer and the green customer. In an MPLS network, a P router or provider router is not connected to any customer routers. So P1, P2, and P3 have all the interfaces in the provider network. So they are provider routers. PE1 and PE2 are known as provider edge routers. They have interfaces connected to the provider network, but they also have interfaces connected to customer networks. So they are on the edge of the MPLS network and hence are called provider edge routers. These routers are called customer edge routers. In other words, they connect the customer network to the MPLS network. In a customer site, there may be many routers, but the edge router in the customer network is called a CE or customer edge router because it's connecting the customer network to the MPLS network. So these are called CE routers or customer edge routers. These are called PE routers or provider edge routers. And these three routers in the core are called provider routers. Labels are used only in the core MPLS network. No labels are used on these links to the customer networks. So labels would be used here, 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 and here. This router is called an ingress label switch router or edge LSR. P2, P1, and P3 are called intermediate LSRs or intermediate label switch routers. PE2 would be called an egress LSR. The reason is as follows. When traffic is sent from CE1 to CE3, traffic is sent here as an IP packet. So IP across layer two. So as an example, it would be IP version four across ethernet. This router, PE1, the ingress LSR or ingress label switch router imposes or inserts a label and the traffic is forwarded to P2 as a labeled packet. I'll show you why shock capture of the label, but essentially between layer two and layer three, we have what's called a shim header or an additional header between ethernet and IP version four. So an additional layer is added often called layer two and a half. Ethernet at layer two, IP at layer three, MPLS at layer two and a half. When it gets to P2, the intermediate label switch router, it swaps the label. So PE1 could have added a label of 20 and sent it to P2. P2 would swap the label to, for example, 21. The numbers aren't sequential but let's say 20 is swapped to 21. When it gets to P1, it would swap the label for 22 and send it out here. P3 would swap the label for 23, but it doesn't have to be sequential. It could be another number such as 40. When the traffic gets to PE2, it strips or removes or pops the label. And then it's forwarded here as IP traffic without a label. So PE1, the ingress label switch router imposes or pushes or inserts a label. Choose the term that you like. Is it a router? Is it a router? Is it a push? Is it an insert? Is it an impose? It essentially adds the label. P2, P1, and P3 swap the label, and PE2 pops the label or removes the label 
and then forwards the traffic as IP traffic to CE3. Know your MPLS terminology. Traffic sent from CE1 to CE3 to a specific destination uses what's called a label switch path, or LSP, which traverses the MPLS network. A label switch path is unidirectional, so a different label switch path would be used for traffic sent back. It may use the same physical interfaces, but it's a separate LSP or label switch path. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.